back. What's going on, guys? My name is Jack the Bus. You can call me Ash. Nobody will come back to a brand new video. Today, we have episode two of our Jujutsu Kaisen watch through named For Myself. Now, guys, last episode, the series kicked off with a lot. I actually went back and watched a little bit of the first episode after I reacted to it. I think I, I kind of understand. I've already had some stuff grounded. We met our protagonist, or I assume is the protagonist, Itadori. He ran a sort of ghost hunting type club with his two friends. I don't even remember their names. I don't even know if they survived. And we kind of got an idea that the, this world that they live in, some things are inherently cursed or they're protected. I don't know. I think we're going to get more information this episode. The first episode started off what I believe this episode is going to have is this guy Gojo with the, the blindfold. And it started with him with Itadori kind of captured. And he said, you have been chosen to die. And I'm guessing it's because the episode ended with Itadori taking that curse. And now he's kind of split. There's part of him in it and part of whatever the, uh, the, uh, they named the monster, like this ancient soul in him, kind of like a curse mark. So I'm guessing that Fushiguro and Gojo were basically like, yeah, this, this isn't worth it. If he stays alive, that's going to, that thing's going to take over eventually and just kill everybody. But guys, we're going to hop right into it. If you need to the channel, drop us up, hit that big boy bell so you don't miss any future episodes. So if I like on this one, let's just hop right into it. Jujutsu regulations. Oh, it's going away. But how much control does he have over it? Hmm. Oh, there he is. He just has like a shopping bag. <laughs> so he's so they're like is he a teacher he said he was in charge like the first years that was a little awkward <laughs> he's like you're not stupid you, you didn't understand gojo it was unprecedented he had to He's so casual. Sukuna was the... Yeah, so that was the name of, like, the curse. Or whoever it was. What? Is he gonna beat it out of him? I'm the strongest. Megami. That's easier to pronounce than Fushiguro. Don't mess up his groceries. <laughs> <laughs> I actually really like Gojo's character. What the heck? Uh oh. Oh, he's sitting on him! <laughs> Wait. Okay, he wasn't joking when he said he was the strongest. So Fushiguro's like Gojo's student? Whoa, that was clean as hell! Did you just throw him? I'm wondering if Gojo does like the hand sign thing that Fushiguro did too with the dogs. So now it's the curse talking. Oh my gosh. And he woke up in like that room where I believe it was sealed. So the curse couldn't activate or whatever. Oh, almost 10! He said, come back to me in 10. Gojo's got this curse's number. He can only take over for 10 seconds. Soundtrack is really good. He can... What? Itachi? Ah, now he's gonna wake up in that. And like I said, I think that room's like a seal room. Because there was the same looking seals that were wrapped around the finger. I won't kill him. A vessel? Oh, like to carry the curse? Mm, he's special. He saw beforehand how insane Itadori is. So are the other two students in the ghost hunting club alive? Dude, I love Gojo. This guy is so cool. I want to rewatch that fight between them. It's like a trial. Or he's gonna have like a trial. Twenty? Oh. Oh, I was about to say like toes too. Oh. 
Huh? I'll just hold one. <laughs> oh! Just throw him- wait. Just throw him all into Itadori and let him die? That sounds dark, but still. Of course they would say kill him. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just throw them all into him. That's so dark. They're gonna make him find him? Wait, what? Wouldn't they do it for him? Also, this opening is a slapper, dude. <laughs> Higuchi. Oh. I was gonna say, she seemed fine, but he was in really bad shape. He was like on his face. <laughs> oh, oh, no, trust. I think, I think he's good. She's like, what? So I'm guessing he said, yeah, I'll find them all on the die. I'm surprised they just let him be alone, though. I guess they trust him. He called in the big guns. Bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said, I mean, he thought to those words that his grandfather said to push himself to go in. Is Gojo the one he called in? Oh, sounds like a really tormented death. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wait, so... Wouldn't it be like the more he consumes of Sukuna, the more he becomes Sukuna and like would be harder to keep control over himself? I don't know. Inherently, yeah. Oh. He has to eat 20 of them? God, that's so gross. At least he does it without uh, without chewing or anything. Yeah, so will they have to fight like every single time he consumes one? Is this like the most powerful one that they're they're trying to get under control, Sukuna? Is there just one? Why does he wear that? Is he does he not have like maybe he's blind? He took a second one, seems okay. <laughs> Why can't I just consume them all and live? All for his grandpa. That's kind of depressing. Especially considering how wholesome of a character Isidori is. A fun hell. <laughs> oh shoot he gonna learn some skills baby wait but if he learns more the third if he learns more does sukuna inside him like inherit those those skills i'm interested to see how a lot of this plays out so there's only there's only two other students. He's the third. It's just to see what kind of crackheads they've got up at this school. Only one of two. Ah, they do secret training. This is a pretty school, man. Ooh, look, Kaisen is Jujutsu Kaisen. Is this the name of the school? <laughs> oh, Sukuna! Oh my gosh! Ah! Jesus. They already had a short fight. He's like, hey, bring it on, baby. Rematch. 
顔が2つある仮想の騎士だがそいつは実在した人間だよ。千年以上前の話だ。術師が総力を挙げて彼に挑み、破れた。Oh, dang. Who took him down then? のなお監視。死後、呪物として時代を渡る城をさえ、僕らは結果できなかった。<笑> Couldn't destroy his great works! Oh, gosh. He's like the almighty curse, yeah! からのすべてを取り戻した少なんなら、ちょっとしんどいかな。The world would be in chaos. カツサ。I love Gojo's confidence. He's like, I could take him on. It's not a big deal, but it would it would be a little bit tiring. I don't have room for it in my schedule. Is he knitting? <laughs> what a contrast! Oh. I like his glasses. He looks sick. What? I'm into. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Why? What happened? Well, he plans to die, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, he wants to know his intentions. Yeah. I guess because, like, he could be inherently just searching for the power for it. Huh. I think they were. Oh. Oh, it's fast! Isn't it just stuffing? I guess not. That is so cursed. But that's how he actually feels, it seems like. He's like, oh, family member, that changes everything. What is this school? This is the weirdest parent teacher meeting I've ever been to. <laughs> Not for yourself. He's saying live for yourself. I feel violated. The contrast between that doll and him. Maybe he inherently is. This guy's like a therapist, dude. He's trying to, like, crack him open. Hmm. God dang, dude, they were talking! This is his, his coffin. Huh. Why do I feel like his grandfather was low key a jujutsu sorcerer? Yeah, way better. Maybe this he feels only he can do. Yeah. I mean, even Gojo said the higher ups haven't seen someone that could be this vessel for them. It's Dory's so wholesome, bro. So pure. I, dude, Gusha's already my favorite character. And just after that first, like, whole scene, and when he took the pictures, he's like, oh, my students will love this. Right, he passed. That's what he wanted to hear. He's doing it for his own reason now. Dude, come on! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> He's hanging his little posters. <laughs> oh my god, it's a Dory! Shameless. I love how that's the first thing he puts up to. <laughs> He's like, I got one. How do they find them all? Yeah. Mm. 
So who put that one in the wrapping in that box at the school? I'm still a bit confused on that. Mm. I guess that makes sense, yeah. I was wondering how they expected him to do more, but since he literally has one in him. <laughs> <laughs> you had to put him right next to me? <laughs> He's checking his room. <laughs> his face! Oh, shoot. Okay, so... Oh, Fushiguro is the third year. I see. Alright, so who's the third? Yeah, what's up, girl? Dude, this outro is a banger too. The animation, the the song, my good, it remind, it gives me uh really heavy persona vibes. Wow, wow, wow! A lot more information, a lot more cleared up this episode, and thank goodness too, because I was very confused at the end of the last one. So now we have a clear cut mission for Itadori, and I honestly, I'm kind of down for it. I know it's kind of depressing to see the end goal, but I think they can figure something out to where he can get all the fingers and everything, and if he can show that he can keep it under control, I feel like there's a, there's a possibility of him living through it. I really like all the interactions between all the characters so far as well and how we're starting to meet more. And boy, Gojo has just shot up the list so quickly to my favorite. I like his character design, his attitude. I'm literally gonna go rewatch that fight between him and Itadori. Well, not Itadori, but like Sukuna. Right after this, because it was very clean. When it cut and you didn't see what happened and it cut back and he's just sitting on him. Dude, what a flex. But guys, that's been episode two of our Jujutsu Kaisen Watch through the movie. Thought the episode down in the comments below. And as always, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. As per usual, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.